the conciliatory moves by Pyongyang are unusual and come after analysts said it was seeking to manufacture a crisis on the peninsula in an effort to extract concessions. Take a look. They've been under sanctions since 2016, and these are particularly tight economic sanctions, which hurt quite a bit um, from the United Nations Security Council. Um, that has caused a significant amount of pain uh, for North Korea. Um, they haven't had any luck um, getting these sanctions lifted, getting these sanctions abrogated. And so there's a certain degree of frustration amongst the North that um, if we are nice, uh, if we play nice, it's not working. So it's time to uh, it's time to show how nasty we can be. They are kind of upset or they're kind of angry um, that South Korea has has not proven effective as a facilitator um, with, uh, with the United States and has not been successful in exerting any interest, any influence on Washington to get these sanctions lifted. So uh, because of all this, North Korea feels that it is time to uh, revert to its uh, traditional pattern of, um, how would I say this, coercive antagonistic diplomacy, um, where they, they show a very disagreeable and a very belligerent face uh, to begin with. Then uh, at, at some point in time when they feel that it is to their benefit, then they will start to ease off on the, uh, and of, on the antagonism or on the provocations. Uh, it conforms with, North Korea, with previous cycles of North Korean antagonism and diplomacy. They always go through a, a Jekyll and Hyde phase, uh, whereby on, once, on one hand they can be very negotiable, on, on the other hand they can be very, very antagonistic and very, very belligerent.